Intelligent designs the idea that there are certain features of life and the universe that are best explained by a designing intelligence rather than an unguided, undirected process such as natural selection. The kind of features we might be talking about are things like the digital code stored in the DNA molecule, the complex miniature machines and circuits found in cells, and the amazing fine-tuning of the universe that allows for the possibility of life. Natural selection is a real process. The question before biologists today, though, is whether it's a, a creative process or a merely conservative process. Natural selection does a great job of explaining small-scale variations, like the changes in the size and shape of finch beaks of the Galapagos finches in response to varying weather patterns. But it doesn't do a great job of explaining where major innovations in the history of life, the origin of birds and animals in the first place, for example, came from. And that's the key issue before scientists today. Some have said that natural selection explains the survival, but not the arrival, of the fittest. Whether you can believe in intelligent design and evolution at the same time depends entirely on the definition of evolution that we might be talking about. If we mean simply change over time or small-scale variation, then certainly that's compatible with the idea of intelligent design. Same with even the idea of common descent. Uh, intelligent design and universal common ancestry are compatible. But if by evolution we mean an unguided, undirected process of natural selection acting on purely random mutations, that notion of evolution and intelligent design are incompatible.